we are going to my favorite grungy thrift store. One of my friends said, hey, you should film going to that grungy thrift store. And I thought, that's not a bad idea. It can be positively disgusting sometimes. Why would someone go there? Because you can find such treasures. I have heard stories of people finding Chanel suits here. That is no joke. I have found such treasures here, but you really have to dig. And sometimes I like to call this activity of going to this particular store, grandma wrestling, because when they wheel these bins out, you have to grab and you have to fight for the thing that you have your eye on. And sometimes you end up on the back of someone's grandma you're reaching for the same thing, and I'm not proud of it. It just happens. Um, I have a good time, but I'm not proud of it. Um, so we're gonna go grandma wrestling today. Uh, let's go check it out, see what we find. This is the first time where we're going to alter something. I'm gonna alter it right in front of your face. Um, I picked up this mutilated blondie t-shirt. When I say mutilated, look, somebody distressed it on purpose in really baffling ways. Like nobody wears out a t-shirt like that. Why would you cut holes like this? I hate it. Um, well, I don't hate it because obviously I bought it. I paid by the pound, I paid almost nothing for it. So I think that's why I feel pretty good about uh, what we're gonna do. Let me explain. This t-shirt that has weird holes all over it and down here has a stain that couldn't be removed. So we're gonna cut that part off. I'm going to turn this into a tank top with a wider neck. I don't know how it's gonna look. I often do this to shirts and uh, items that I'm just not happy with. I'll just cut right into them and see what I can do. And that's what we're gonna do. Let me go get my scissors. I'm gonna do my best to show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take some inches off of the bottom because of this stain. So I'll just start here at the top of the stain and just follow with my eyeballs in a rough straight line with my good fabric scissors. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is get these sleeves off. Uh, I think I'm just gonna cut right outside the hem here. This time I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it one layer at a time. I'm just gonna get right in there. And I'm gonna leave the hem there because I need something to keep it from fraying into nothing. So I'm just gonna cut the sleeve off right at the hem, all the way around. We're gonna cut right outside of where the hem is on the neck. Okay, I did a little bit of a sloppy job on the back, but that can always be cleaned up later. Now what we have is some sort of tank top. Okay, so not only that, I've got some other things I got from the bin store. And when you pay per pound, I mean, some of these clothes don't weigh much and you end up with some really inexpensive outfits. So let me just tell you, this t-shirt probably cost me not even, maybe a dollar. Okay, let's see it with some other things that I got. So, you know what? This is not bad. Uh, it's less of a tank top and more of a very short sleeve shirt. Um, I kind of intended it to be more like a tank top. I may alter this later on if these 
front holes don't drive me bananas. It's kind of funny to say the word bananas when I'm wearing like banana yellow and I'm just entertaining myself here. And this is a vintage skirt and the tag said graced by star with two R's. And I think that is just so extra. Okay, so we have this very comfortable below the knee length skirt. And now for a third item that I got from the bin store. You won't believe this cost almost nothing. I got this really fabulous, classy jacket. And we're gonna throw this over. And in this case, I would not wear these flats, but I really like where this is going. Actually, what would look really good here is if I had a little tiny heel. But what if I don't? What if I don't have a heel? What if I won't have a heel? Okay, so this jacket is really making this outfit look like something. And it was super casual. And now, now I'm going somewhere. I think that if I do take the effort to put some heels on, you're gonna see this totally go up a notch. So that's what I'm gonna do. These nude heels are the workhorses of these videos. This is so cute. This is such a cute outfit. These heels made it happen. With or without the jacket, the heels kind of took my legs from looking um, just like flat and shapeless to, hey, this gave the whole thing definition. That was not eloquent. I don't care. Let's see what happens if I push these sleeves up. I really like this. I think that this could even go to work. My ugly blondie t-shirt with the holes in the front could go to work. Of course, you want to make sure nothing's going to show through. But I think this could totally work. Very surprised at how this came out. Really like it. And this jacket probably weighs not even two, probably two pounds. So it probably cost me $3. What a steal. This skirt probably cost $1.50. I mean, this outfit doesn't weigh much and it would think it's like $1.60 a pound or something. I'm not sure. Um, I have forgotten, but I think this is a $5 outfit, honestly. Pretty nice. This jacket was quite a find.